We've decided to, to find people to, to, to try and make our budget break even. So in the past, we have we contract the service out, so each call out costs the ratepayer money. And we're spending about $80,000 a year on the service. Other councils have make use of infringements and fines to recoup that money. So we, we've just started to do that and we hope that we can break even and we're going to be targeting those people that, what we call recidious offenders, that continually um, cause noise and dis distress to the community. So they, they will be the ones that we will be will be targeting. We're talking about noise from residential areas, mainly music would be the, the most common, loud music. And I don't think people realise that that includes the source. So if you've got a cell phone or an iPod or an iPad that is the source that's connected to the stereo, that whole thing will be seized. And, and even a TV, if that is being played through the TV. So people seem to think it's just the stereo, but it's, it's the source, which nowadays is often a phone or an iPad or something, so that that will that will be seized. So that that service now runs 24 hours a day, and in addition to that, we also the service will check out barking dog complaints after hours. The process works by we get a call for excessive noise, and the the contractor will go out, and if if they determine it to be excessive noise, they can issue an excessive noise direction notice. They can also seize the equipment at that stage. If we get a second complaint within 72 hours, we're going to give them a fine of $500. And then if we get a third complaint uh, within the six month period, they get another fine of $750. And to get their equipment back will cost them $65. So if, if a, a noise source or equipment is, is not claimed after six months, then we, we have the right to, to sell it through auction or, or, or trade me or whatever. We've got other partners in, involved in this and we've worked very closely with them. So the first one is Armaguard, the contractor, and they're quite experienced in doing this, especially in other bigger cities. So we're, we're learning, getting their, their learnings from that. Also the local police, they, they will help us. Uh, at, they will be attending most complaints, especially where assistance is required. Um, but we are using, that. they're the two ones that we're going to use to try and really clamp down, especially those recidious offenders. Our goal here is to reduce our, the, the cost to the rate power that the noisy parties cause us. And we want to put the cost back on to the people that make the noise. So yeah, we're here to reduce our rates and put the, the cost on the people that make the noise. And if that means seizing their equipment and finding that, that's, that's the tools that we'll be using to, to ensure that the rate power is not funding the service.